So here's another grim reality. 76% of residents of informal settlements in Nairobi say they are skipping meals or eating less every day because of disruptions to their normal life by the novel coronavirus. So a research study by Population Council and the Ministry of Health found that despite a government directive to stay at home, a majority of residents are leaving their homes two or three times in a day, as Asha Mwilu reports. A recent study by Population Council is painting the grim reality for most of the inhabitants of Nairobi's informal settlements. They sampled views of residents in Kibera, Huruma, Kariobangi, Dandora and Madare. In the survey presented to the Ministry of Health, most people reported seeing less of family and friends during the coronavirus period. 76% said they used less of public transport. But perhaps the most glaring finding showed the impact of coronavirus to the respondents' livelihoods. That the socioeconomic and health effects are taking a toll on communities living in urban slums. For example, four out of five have had a complete or partial loss of income. Over two-thirds are skipping meals. The biggest effect of this is a looming food crisis in informal settlements. 71% of women and 64% of men in these areas said they had skipped meals in the last two weeks. These numbers are not just statistics to Monica Oles in Mukurukwa Ruben settlement. Today is an especially difficult day. The rains have left her one-room house flooded. She has no money for food and her eight children have been skipping lunch and sometimes dinner. In the study, 76% of slum dwellers said food was their biggest need that is currently not being met. Even though various initiatives have been launched to assist the most vulnerable groups in Kenya, only 7% of those who participated in the study said they had received any assistance during the coronavirus pandemic. We actually think that it's been very instrumental in advising the ministry, particularly the community engagement activities, um, that in particular we need to think about providing food um, because we risk a secondary crisis of hunger alongside coronavirus. This additional financial pressure has meant that people are unable to obey government's directive to stay at home. 84% of men said they had left their homes in the last 24 hours, while 76% of women said they had left their houses as well. On average, people said they left home two to three times a day. Like Monica's husband, a significant number of inhabitants in these settlements fall under the groups with pre-existing conditions. When asked about the risk of infection, 36% said they were at high risk of getting infected. One of the challenges that government was anticipating in response to the new coronavirus was how to deal with Kenya's complex demographics. Such studies can become crucial links in not only addressing people's urgent needs, but in stopping the spread of the new virus in dense population. Ashamwilu, Citizen TV.